improper handling of chemical and oil spills, leaks, and accidents in the past has resulted in the contamination of land, water, and air in thousands of sites across the United States and abroad. Today, the proper handling of spills continues to be at the forefront of environmental issues. Fats, oils, and grease spills uh, can be detrimental in, in two ways once they, once they make it to the drain. Number one, they can cause major drain blockages, which is going to be costing taxpayers money to clear those drain blockages so we don't have uh, drain overflows. Number two, they can make it past the treatment plant and getting to our uh, rivers and eventually our oceans, getting to our uh, clean water, getting to, uh, closing down beaches, and also being detrimental to fish and mammals. A wide range of materials commonly encountered at home or in the workplace could pose a threat to health, safety, and the environment if spilled. These substances include grease or oils used for cooking, detergents, automotive fluids such as gas or motor oil, paints, bodily fluids, and chemicals. Some of the dangers to common spills can be um, slip, trip, and fall hazards, uh, fire, hazards and possibly exposure to uh, toxic uh, vapors and fumes and possibly even uh, uh, asphyxiation hazards. Methods of cleaning up spills vary from mopping or other liquid methods to sawdust, clay absorbents and other dry cleanup methods. But in addition to the spills themselves, some of these cleanup methods could also pose health and environmental problems. Due to technological advances in recent years, mopping has become increasingly outdated and is no longer a viable option. If you look at the uh, traditional methods like the mop and bucket, you're dealing with, uh, you, you have a spill, you have to mop it up, you're uh, smearing the spill around, you, uh, you have to dispose of the water, so now you got uh, water consumption, you got wastewater. Uh, even though you can use a mop uh, to clean up a spill, there's still the issue of how to properly dispose of the wastewater containing the fat oil and greases. Uh, pouring the wastewater down the drain with fat oil and greases, being the only disposal method available, is prohibited both nationally and locally. For spills requiring dry cleanup, paper towels and absorbents like sawdust and clay are often used, but when they are disposed of, typically in landfills, these cleanup tools can release their contents back into the environment as they decompose or are squeezed out as a result of massive pressure. Clay absorbents, also frequently used, are a legal cleanup method, but can contain chemicals that are linked with serious <coughs> long-term health risks. In fact, they are ranked by the International Agency for Research on Cancer as Group 1 carcinogens, same as asbestos. Crystal silica can be present in clay absorbents. People utilizing contaminated crystal material products like clay absorbents, if it becomes airborne and inhaled, uh, can penetrate the deeper parts of the lung, affecting the alveoli, which is the gas transfer mechanism of the lung, uh, causing a disease called silicosis. Concerns about flaws associated with these cleanup methods have led to breakthroughs in spill management technology that are not only more effective, but more environmentally friendly. Absorbents can now be made from all natural organic compounds that are capable of absorbing and retaining almost any type of spill. Because these new absorbents are dry, they prevent unnecessary water consumption while also reducing the risk of slip and fall liability. And because they are made from inert, non-toxic ingredients, they are ranked by the International Agency for Research on Cancer as non-carcinogenic and safe for use. As a best management practice, the city requires that an absorbent be used to clean up spills. Uh, the absorbent, when placed around a spill, contains the spill and it provides a barrier between the spill and the floor drain. The absorbent acts like a sponge and absorbs the spill material, binds it, so that it makes it easily to pick up and clean up and dispose of in a proper solid waste receptacle. EcoAbsorb is the all-natural environmentally sound way to clean up spills of almost any kind. Great for use in the workplace or at home, EcoAbsorb can absorb paints, oils, greases, fats, 
pet accidents, biohazard spills, and all chemicals except hydrofluoric acid. We, we believe that um, as more counties and cities become aware of the many benefits of using an all-natural absorbent, they will revolutionize the spill cleanup industry and really set the standard in the future uh, to, clean up, to clean up all spills. EcoAbsorb is six times more absorbent than other spill management products and works faster than traditional cleanup methods, quickly neutralizing the risk associated with the spills and significantly reducing cleanup time. Also, EcoAbsorb can potentially save employers huge amounts of assets due to the reduced labor time spent cleaning. Using EcoAbsorb is a simple one, two, three step process. The first step is damming the spill, stopping the spill from spreading, completely damming it. The second step is sweeping it from outward in, uh, making sure that all the powders come into contact with the spill. The third step is once the spill has been completely absorbed, sweep uh, the spill onto a dustpan and throw away in your nearest trash receptacle. Unlike other absorbents, EcoAbsorb is made from an organic compound, making it non-toxic and 100% safe for use even around children and pets. Once it absorbs spills, liquids are locked permanently and cannot be leaked back out into the environment, making EcoAbsorb landfill safe too. In addition to meeting the fat, oil and grease best management practice standards, EcoAbsorb exceeds the requirements of current laws regarding spill management while staying eco-friendly. EcoAbsorb, the best spill management tool for your employees, your family, and future generations.